this, and then I tried out Toon Link. I don't. I just felt like Sheik <laughs> was unfair when we first had her. That's why I never want to play oh, Sheik. Okay. Uh, the same with Diddy. I think Diddy's fun. Just take out his stupid stuff, and I'll think he's fun. I just never want to play him in bracket. All right, we got Kingwell versus Moogie. Ooh. This is going to be a very fun matchup. Sonic versus Corrin. So we have pretty much speed versus patience and spacing. Yeah. Which, Kingwell does have the patience, and he has, like, the, the mindset to camp out. So, Kingwell can be patient as well. So, I do see this as a... Patience, uh, patience versus patience matchup. Uh, Moogie is very patient, but he wants to go in to not just get timed out. And what I've noticed with a lot of a King Wolves games, a lot of his opponents sometimes you know they want to play patient, but then at, at the same time, I need to get a hit. I I, I need to get a hit, and you know I have to be just a, that slightly more aggressive. But then King will kind of reads up on that, and he starts to adapt to that. Because he starts seeing that, and then he starts to change things up, and he makes it very hard for his opponent to adapt to And that's what I like about King Will. Mm. But Moogie, Moogie is very good at handling, uh, handling how things go. He goes with the flow of the game very well, and he's able to mm. adapt on the spot, which is really good too. Yeah, definitely. Ooh. Uh, I think he wanted an instant pin, but I think he just came to the ground. Oop! Nice catch. Catch him again? Nope, great up beat by King Will. Soul bad guy. Which I realized, I finally realized what was the reference. And I forgot the title of the reference now. God dang it. It's, it's a game. I know it's a game. I know it's a game. I know he <laughs> plays the guy with the big sword and a red outfit and black hair. I forgot the game now. Blaze Blue. Or Guilty Gear. No, no, it's Guilty Gear. Fudge. Alright, I'm gonna kill myself now. It's fine, it's fine, no worries. <laughs> I, I, I really see them as the same. Alright, now all the Guilty Gear and Blaze Gear we are after me now. I mean, styles are... They're similar, similar. Yeah. they're pretty similar. similar. That's why I always confuse them. Wow! Too much patience, Moogie. That's too much. And Blaze. I mean, I kind of saw it. I think Moogie was gonna get up at that exact... He moment. wanted to roll in so yeah. bad. He wanted to roll in so bad. He's like, oh no, I'm too much. But Kamui was like... I don't think he was expecting King Will to charge it as much. Yeah, but King Will didn't get to escape in time. Again, both situations... Oh no. Luckily he had a jump. He just went too far with the up there. Oh, he fell on that up there, which I don't think he wanted. Nice. I don't know if Becker was the option. I think he could have gone for a neutral and just kept getting hits if he turned around and forwarder. But I don't know too much about Corrin, and I know Moogie excels with this character. So I could be wrong. But Moogie, just having aerial patience, just waiting for, for that moment to catch King Will up in the air. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's just throwing out. Ooh! Ooh! Is King Will gonna make it back? No! Wow. He wanted to get that platform. And the platform's like, I don't know if I want you on top of me. <laughs> <laughs> Just slowly went away. Oh, hey guys. man. Hey, guys. King Will just missed a date right there with the platform. He messed up with the date. <laughs> and he couldn't, he couldn't do it. He was too late. Yeah, no, no, no. He just messed up with dinner and a movie. He's like, thanks for my dinner and movie, but I'm going to go home now. <laughs> That's what happened right there. Oh, man. Shots are fired. But King Will, shrugging it off, he's a very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Because I know King Will is a type that just like, I won't take this over, I'm going to learn from this, and I'm going to come back stronger. Anyway, and now, going Battlefield, uh, I might be a little bit too naive about Sonic's on Battlefield. I've seen Sonic's a lot on this stage, but I mean, I'm probably just just the same as you, but I'm just assuming, just based on how his hit works, he probably uses spin dash around to, uh, to maneuver around the platform and everything, and probably yeah. to defuse a lot of the aerial pressure from Korn. Yeah, it is, when I fight Sonic, um, usually I would either want it, depending on your style, I want to ban uh, Tom, so you're FD. Uh, t like you said, with the uh, spin dash is going on the platform, 
I feel like that's easier on uh, Town and City. Because the platforms move. And yeah, yeah, and then you can just, and they're closer to the edges. Exactly. So if they want to go to the other edge, they can easily just jump on it and be closer to the edge. So if I try to jump, they can grab me back there and I would die. Because Town exactly. City. Battlefield is closer to the middle. So I, again, I'm, ba I'm a bad Sonic if I ever tried it myself. Um, it's harder for me to go in there, like mid stage, and I would just, just jump over it. Like that. Like, I'll just end up in the middle of the platform, which is good. But, like, if I'm neutral, like King Will just did, I'll get it. But not if I just stick spin dash. I don't know. That's and just me. And just seeing him spin dashing now, I can kind of understand why he picked this age. Because I've noticed already two times when he spin dash and hit Lugi, Lugi's kind of forced to hit that middle platform or go near it. Yeah. And because of that, he goes in with either... He did the first time with an up air and then the second time with a bear. Yeah. So I think it's mainly for him to execute things like that easier. Yeah. So you guys, we're learning as we do this. That's what I love about these levels. You learn, you adapt, and when you go to big places like... Smash Conference, CEO, or other places, we can go out there and show our stuff. Exactly. Yeah. Definitely see Black Rose there on Smash Conference. It's coming soon. That's going to be a fun day. That's going to be an exciting day. I'm most likely, like, I signed up. I'm not, I think I just want to do doubles. But I'm just going to have fun watching and learning. <laughs> but right now, King Will is showing his what he's knowledge with this match, showing a lead. Uh, been almost taking half the game to get this far, but. He's doing Good, yeah. Much better than the first game. Yeah. Keeping up a nice momentum here, and he's definitely using the same advantage. Ooh, great, great fastball by Moogie. Not enough. I've, that's a great choice with the stage. Not letting these late up airs finish him off. That's what I was thinking about as well. King Will. King Will's looking at that timer. Definitely. Back throw. Done. Or not? Wow. I gotta think about that nerf. Gotta think about that nerf. Ooh, but Moogie's making sure he gets his grabs in check. I was thinking uh, up throw, but I'm like... Oh, yeah, but that, that's going to do it. Yeah, but I always think the magic percent is always 140. Always with um, uh, Korn's up throw. No matter what rage, no matter what percent, 140, that's the key number. And it's kind of kind of cool in a way because a lot of characters' magic number for specific throws are kind of in that range. Yeah, 130. 120, 140, 130. 140, yeah. yeah. I mean, when I'm a fox, I just think about 100. I down there. I'll, I'll down there. Let's go. I learned that from Will. Thank you, Will. Thank you for that time at Juicy where you just down there your way to Grand Finals. Hey, right now. Will, yeah. I mean, like I said, he's looking at that timer. He's using all he can to use that timer advantage. And I think it's because of rematches right next to him that he's just uh, taking his advice. Like like I said, they're they're close. Rematch brought uh, King Will a lot of knowledge into his game style. Or he's just laughing with him now. I I don't know. <laughs> but I mean, like he got that stock off a of movie. Yeah. But even with time, he's got to be careful because he's at fifty percent. Yeah, Moogie's not going to time out. He's going to go for a relentless force. Exactly, but I mean, I'm just saying, if King Will is trying to aim for a timeout, he's going to have to rack up some damage. Yeah, he needs a lot of damage. Or just, like, fight. Yeah. Oh, oh boy. It, yeah, I think King Will is still trying to go for that game plan, because you might as well... I think you might as well finish it. I don't think at this time it's like... It's going to be hard to try to get a player like Moogie. It's going to be really hard to go with that plan. So it's like, it's going to be hard to just fight if only a minute left on the clock. And he's already having a tough time just trying to hit him because Moogie is so arrogant. It's oh, it's, ooh, that side B. That was, and that was the right spacing too. Nice. Oh, nice read. No jump. <gasps> wow! And with the comeback! And that was the perfect angle for Dare. Wow. And I'm literally doing all the talking for Duelist right now because he's just like, he's speechless. I mean, he's he's not even listening to me right now. He has his headphones down, he's drinking water. He's like, that didn't happen. I don't know what happened. 
But that was a really good from Kegel, and that's exactly what I'm saying. I think Battlefield is his stage. That's exactly what he wanted. You see, what happened to me was, <laughs> I have the thing where I, when I see people in that pain, I feel it. I felt that, Moogie. I felt that. Oh, in the gut. But that was an amazing play by Kingwell. He went from campy to destruction exactly. with a less than a minute on the clock. I, I want to say a bit of conditioning kind of played out of it there because Louis like, he hasn't been playing aggressive this entire time. You know, he, he can't afford to really play aggressive against yeah. me. So he probably thought he was safe coming yeah. back on the stage. And Kingwell's like, nope, I'm going all in. <laughs> yeah, that was amazing by Kingwell. I, I will not be surprised with a pop off because he just played phenomenal game too. Like, with so much against him, he just came back. Exactly, and he's bringing up a huge momentum now. Moog already at 106%, and Kingo at 12%. And, Ooh. funny enough, it's on Town & City, like yeah. you said. Yeah. You know, how this stage, you know, yeah. this stage is probably a better pick for Kingo. Which is showing right now. That's what I've been saying. He didn't pick Town & City uh, game two. But, all right. Ooh. Yeah, because right now, Kingwell can be comfortable and do it as the same plan as game two. See right there? Yeah. That's what I've been noticing because it's like it's easier for Sonic to spin that. And he can just a B, go to the edge, be happy. Or a down air, just like that. Just just be happy. Oh, nice read by Moogie. He's got to find a way to come back, which he did in game one. That was beautiful. Yeah. And the thing is, is that right now, Moogie's kind of taking advantage trying to take advantage of the fact that there's no platform. So I think probably Moogie's game plan is to Ooh. wait until the stage platform go away and then use that small window of time to try to rack up as much damage as possible. Oh I no! He air dodge. Nice catch by Moogie. But no tipper. If it was tipped, that would have been really I, I would have, I would have, I would definitely would see a stock taken. Nice jumps by Moogie, making sure he doesn't get grabbed by King Will. That's his game plan. Like, I don't want to be grabbed. Oh my god, beautiful by Moogie. I feel like I know why Moogie likes the stage, because look at his placement on the platforms. He can use it so much in his advantage to make sure he doesn't get damaged. Exactly, and the platforms move as well, mm -hmm. so it's it's going to mess up a lot of spaces. Great. Wow. Great by Moogie. Noticing that homing attack charging up, he's like, not today. You're not homing on me. Down throw. I don't know. I'll... I know it might have not taken the stock, but forward throw would have been at least good conditioning. That too, yeah. Yeah. It doesn't, it's not, I haven't seen it kill too much. It goes like really high percents, like maybe 180. It would take a stock, kind of like a fox, like up tilt. Yeah. But it, w it would have been a nice shot. You never threw it out. There's no like, uh, shoot, I just lost the word. Staling? Staling, there we go. I don't know why I lost it, but new trailer is not stale. So it's going to take a stock. And not too Ooh. bad from King Will. He's at 25%, so he can definitely make this work for him. I mean, he made it work last game at a higher percentage. Yeah. So, see, so Moogie definitely playing it pretty patient, just trying to see what King Will is going to do. Yeah. Oh. Oh, no, he wanted to go. I don't know if this is King Will noticing timer or he just wants to go in. Yeah, this is Will just wanting to go in right now. I'm set up for timer, I think. Uh, but Moogie playing as he always is, I assume. Uh, mixing up a little bit on his landing. Still getting caught a lot by that side B, though, from uh, King Will. I'm glad he jumped, because I knew King Will was like, I'm going to grab you again. Yeah. Oh, he got hit by that. That's unfortunate. But Sometimes. That was smart from King Will, though, because he was. Moogie was looking for the up airs. Yeah. I just. That was a tipper. That was scary. I was actually praying. <laughs> like, I, I saw, I saw, I heard the crowd. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, is the crowd good. right? Are we gonna hear yelling? <laughs> <laughs> Category <laughs> feast. Not so fast, Will. Yeah, he's gotta <laughs> slow it down. I think he wants to slow it down. Cause look at this. Look at this right now. Look at the timer. This is timer, Will now. But this is an example right here of both players trying to use their own patience to their advantage. Yeah. And like we said in the beginning, patience versus patience. Exactly. So now, right now, we're seeing patience here. Oh, I, I was, I was thinking a counter from. <laughs> Fast reaction by King Will. Oh, King Will. Like I said, showing that 